<clears throat> Hello, this is Team Phoenix. Just continuing my Final Fantasy X playthrough with the Expert Sphere Grid. And uh, yeah. We're going to be taking on Seymour, amongst other things. No real need for the uh, AP or any of that stuff, so unless it's something that I actually want to capture, I'll not be bothering until I actually fight Seymour. Now normally he's a heck of a tricky boss fight and uh, he can give you some real issues, but um, in my overpowered playthrough on the standard sphere grid he was pretty easy. Uh, and I'm anticipating it being just as much or even even easier on this playthrough. So um, The main part of this playthrough that makes it overpowered, there's quite a few things I did. Uh, mainly it's getting uh, return spheres from a Blitzball tournament. Um, to get first strike and to allow Tidus and Oren to take a detour uh, in the expert sphere grid and to keep everybody central until I got the two HP spheres from Lord Ochu as a rare overkill in Killica Forest and then we get the uh, strength plus four node from winning the Luca Blitzball uh, compulsory match which gets you like you know a plus four strength sphere and uh, that gave everybody a, a boost to their attack uh, right in the start and then we kept everybody more or less central so you know for what uh, for went for go for went a few uh, I don't know uh, hmm, interesting anyway we um, kept everybody quite central uh, in that area until I got the three strength spheres lightning dodging in the uh, Thunder Plains and those three strength spheres make an enormous amount of difference um, so yeah, <clears throat> that was uh, essentially plus 16 strength. So, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, anyway, so apparently he's killed all the wrong souls, but nobody seems to care because we all forget like five minutes later or whatever. But yeah, um, and there are loads of wrong souls left as well, so maybe he's just taunting Kamari, who knows. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, anyway, so we're going to kick this guy's backside, uh, and yeah, the main thrust of this playthrough is that we've got that 16 strength extra, which has allowed us to overkill every enemy for double the item drops, and, well, pretty much every enemy for double the item drops, and uh, a ton of really good uh, AP bonuses, because you get one and a half times AP for all of your overkills. So, anyway, we just got to take out Seymour, and um, I'm just going to... Check that the stream's coming through and everything. We've got all this spiral of death crap that he's talking about again. Loves that stuff. Doesn't he? So yeah, we'll see. Just gotta wait for this. Uh, da, 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 da. Anyway, so we can't skip cutscenes. Honestly. Yes, yes, very good. Huh. Makes no sense. What is that and where does it even come from? This doesn't... What is that at all? Anyway. That's something from Power Rangers or whatever. Anyway, so this is Seymour, whichever one this is. Natus? This one's Natus. I can't remember. Let's see. Oh, Flux. This one's Flux. Uh, so, get haste on everybody. Steal an elixir just to get everybody a uh, turn. And then we'll start getting everybody else in. So she's zombified. Might as well trigger. Yeah, yeah. So, a bit of increase there. Just keep using haste on everybody so that everybody gets a turn. Orin can do it himself, which is cool. And, uh, yeah. So, I might as well get Lou a turn. Not that she's going to be able to do anything particularly interesting, but... Uh, I don't want to cast bio on him, because you can cast bio, but I actually want to get the overkill, so... Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. 
So yeah, I'm just going to leave it as is. And then... I suppose Tedious can try and mug. And that's because we uh, had already taken out them. It should be immune to armor break, yeah. Let's just double check in. So who's not had a turn? Yuna's not had a turn, but she'll be doing uh, the bulk of our main damage anyway. Waka's not had a turn, uh, so I'll get him in. Can we do anything else? Let's see, I think you can silence him. Yeah, but for some weird reason it doesn't actually stop him from... Um, it doesn't actually stop him from using spells, I seem to remember, from a, maybe a Dance Go Away video or something like that. Um, so anyway, let's see what Yuna's talk does. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so she gets her extra there, which is cool. And then we'll just cast <coughs> Haste on Waka. And then pretty much I'm just going to kill him because it should be pretty easy. So we just Asuna Waka so that he can't be killed. And then I'll just uh, go to town on him. On Seymour and should be able to cause a ton of damage with that. Oh, you have to dispel that, don't you? Damn, oh well. You know, that was just silly. Never mind. Uh, doo -doo -doo. That's what happens when you lose concentration. You know, I almost didn't cast haste on him because I knew that you had to dispel instead of a sooner. I just wasn't paying attention. Anyway, um, let's try and deal some damage, shall we? That's attack reels, first of all. He has 70k HP. Uh, so we'll see how much we can deal. I'll save Tidus' overdrive for finishing him off. Did a good chunk. And Moti's option adds onto it as well. Alright. Nice flare. That's a nice bit of damage. Uh, right, so what do we want to do here? I suppose really we want to get Yuna hasted. So, let me see. Yeah, we want to get Yuna hasted first, so I'll just cure her first. Then I'll cast haste on her. And then I'll... Uh, Set somebody up for reflect so that I can actually cast it on him. So um, let me just get Kimari in first because he can uh, dispel the reflect. Actually, how is he so far down on health already? I can't have done that much to him. Or well, maybe I can. Okay, so let's see how much Yuna can do with her double cast first. Okay, so he's dead. And that was what I mean. I wasn't really anticipating that being a very difficult fight. Took him out in just a couple of turns there. So Yuna's tremendously powerful. Tidus and Waka are tremendously powerful as well. So absolutely smashed him into the ground. Hardly surprising. And we're just going to make sure that we've got our Confuse armors on with Waka and Yuna for the next boss. Get everybody's uh, overdrives back. And as you can see, that was a very easy start. Just there. there. And stay up there. Yeah, yeah. So. Nice and easy. Less than 10 minutes, including all the cutscenes and the talking and everything else. Level 4 key spheres, always good. Great fun. He will be if he be yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just go on this. Subject won't be saved, let's be honest. You know uh huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sins. My old man. You hit oh no. Revel my Revelation time. Oh my, my goodness. Why does it just keep calling him my old man did. all the time? Anyway. I felt him inside. Uber. When I did, I knew it was true. 
Mm -hmm. Anyway, so we've got the, uh, I think you've got the Northern Cave first and then the Sanctuary Keeper at the top of it. So we get to do a bit more capturing. Uh, we get a, uh, another Fortune Sphere, um, which is cool. Which we'll be able to use when we get the Lux Sphere in Zanakand. And just to give Tidus a bit much. So yeah, pretty cool. So we're going to do all this stuff and then get a bit more capturing and things like that. Mm. Because um, I've gone fairly quickly through um, Mount Gargazette, no problem there. we need um, probably to return just to finish a little bit of the capturing. Not sure if we got all the Banda snatches and everything else. So we'll have to have a, have to have a look at that. Mm. I, uh, I think I'll just pretend I didn't hear nothing. I'm getting mm. really confused, yeah? Why? Surprised. Anyway, can we get on, please? So we get the crest for one of the celestial weapons just here. Really easy to miss, actually. You can just about see it there. I think it's Kimari's, if I remember. But yeah. So, who's have we got to build back up? Got to build back up oh, Wakas. Uh, Riku doesn't have hers yet, so. Do we have any more interesting S levels to use? Wakas got four, we're just going to keep him there for now. Um, don't really want to be going through Lulu's grid, it's not particularly good. Um, it's quite a lot of agility through Yuna's. How many would it take him to move back here, I wonder? So Orans. Eh, a few. Could just use a return sphere. Break into Orange grid that way, that's pretty good. That gets him a um, good chunk of strength from that bit. Yeah, we'll do that. Return sphere's not hard to come by in the uh, end of the game, so that's cool. Waka actually gets the Sentinel before Orin does, which is quite fun. And uh, yeah, the end point of Orin's grid has a lot of strength, so he'll be able to get a bunch of strength and then move straight through Tidus's instead of carrying on with um, Orin's, which will be cool. A little bit of defense. So, Orin, 82 strength, 69, 66, the Tidus and Waka, which is pretty cool. So there are different enemies up at the top of Gargazette, which is also cool. And, uh, So apparently we can watch this cutscene and still stream, even though we couldn't stream the one in Macalania Forest, which is weird. Not complaining. What, what at, all? Those at least it means that I don't have to uh, stop the whole thing. So we've got the faith, they're dreaming, Some, and everything else. Hmm. Makes no sense. Look not to others. That makes no sense. No, it isn't. Anyway, whatever. None of this bit makes any sense. Come on. Yeah, it's very weird, the uh, end story of Zanakand. Yeah, all these Zanakand bits are just odd. Anyway, just got to get through this bit. Not a lot to be going on with here. So yeah, we've got to do a bit more capturing. Um, for these parts with Gargazette. And then we're just going to carry on. I need to have done all these bits of uh, Zanakand cutscenes first. It's a little bit Blade Runner, you know? Very little. This music always just reminds me of like Sin and stuff. Uh, 
This is like Judas's apartment or whatever else. Anyway, so we've got to do all these bits. We've got his own home here, Blitzball tournament, stuff like that. I like how that Blitzball trophy, uh, the one that looks like the World Cup and then the ones behind it, the ones behind it look exactly like the one that they win in uh, in uh, Luca when you win that compulsory Blitzball, so that's just weird. Precisely. Oh. Mm. Interesting. It's kind of a cool idea and stuff, though. But yeah, very odd. Mm -hmm. Okay. Long ago, there was a war. Yeah. Yes. Babel's Machina assured their victory from the start. The summoners of Xanarkun didn't stand a chance. Xanarkun was doomed to oblivion. That's why we tried to save it, if only in a memory. What mm. did you do? The remaining summoners and the... T they all became faith. Faith for the summoning. The summoning? You mean sin? No. I mean this place. A Xanarkand that never sleeps. What? Mm. The dreams of the faith summoned the memories of the city. They summoned all the buildings. The people? What? They're all dreams? Yep. Apparently so. Me? Too? Yeah, boy. Yes. You, your father, your mother, everyone. All dream. And if Weird. they stop dreaming, Bye bye. Weird. Interesting concept. Tough one to get your head around. This time you play it. Well, I think anyway. Zanakend in ruins. Crazy. Cool though. Just got to get through all this bit. I just like playing the game. If I'm perfectly honest. Love it. So what if I'm a dreamer? I... Mm. I like being here. We've been dreaming so... Yeah. Yep. Would you, both you and your father, sin the one around... What are you saying? What are you saying? All very weird. You two are more than... Wake up! Just a little... Proper just head fuck though. Maybe you. What does that even mean? Maybe you are the dream that will end our dreaming at last. What? Anyway, it's kind of cool. Do 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 do. Right, so T just wakes up. Are you alright? Being on his ass for a bit. Oh. Yeah, we're good. Hey. You Stuff. Okay? I... Stuff was a bit crazy. Nothing. What happened? You called me. Oh, sweet. Anyway, let's go. Well, he's had a nice nap. Nothing like a good nap. Mmm. Fair dues. Very strange. It's cool scenery as well. Right, so I think we have the cave first. Yep. So, K okay, first, then Sanctuary Keeper. Some good and very useful stuff to get in this cave. Different sets of enemies as well. Uh, if you've not captured these Bashura, then you can do. Very 
Very useful having double cast with Yuna for capturing as well. Got that one. Ah, I should get Riku in first really. Might as well. Soul Spring there. Alright, that's that sorted. That's how it's done. Not sure a few more of those. Says for just up ahead as well. Now, B moths, we definitely 100% want to steal from these. Now, I'm not sure if you can slow them. I think they're immune. Yeah. Now. <clears throat> These are what you can steal from to get um, MP Strut, I think. <clears throat> yeah, the mana tablet. Let's have a look. Can you delay them? I'm not even sure if you can delay them. Yeah, so you can't really manipulate their turns, which is annoying. Let's see. Although you can put them to sleep, which is useful. And the good thing is that when you capture these things, uh, you can capture them and it stops them doing their final attack, which is otherwise really annoying. Because it's Meteor and it does an absolute ton of damage. Ah, Riku didn't get a chance, that's a shame. <clears throat> right, what have we got? Uh, where is the haste shield? Hey shield. Right, so we need more than that for a... I can't remember how many it is for MP Stroll, but I'll put, put MP Stroll on the armor when I get the chance. I'll make sure that Kimari steals from the beer moths when I come up against them. Now this has 31k HP. Steal remedies from it, which isn't bad at all. Hit it with fire without um, <clears throat> needing to wake it up, which is cool. And Riku can have a turn. And then we can just bring back in Orin. So there are tons of ways to actually manipulate the turns whenever you want, so that's good. Yeah, yeah. And capture those. That's how it's done. Big chunks of AP again. Right, so can't go there just yet. We'll be able to on the way back. It's all. Let's knock out these things. Not tons of uh, AP, so not worth switching about for all of those. Just get that little bit extra. Looks like we got it. If anything should happen, if it gets mm -hmm. dangerous, right? Be careful. If it gets dangerous, pull out quick. Um, mm -hmm. childish nigger. Do do do. Right. So we've got a few types of enemies here that we need to capture as well. So I'll capture 10 of each because otherwise it's just annoying. I uh, can't get across there just yet. There's an Aculus and a male spike and something else. Can't remember what else. Anything good to steal from these? Nah, not really. These are what you can steal frag grenades from. As the rare steal. No need to dark attack that because it will be uh, dead soon anyway. Right, 
not even worth stealing from them, can't be bothered with the animation, so just hit them with Walker. Uh, nope, not that way. Come back this way. We'll have to make sure that we capture 10 of everything before we come back. Just so that I don't have to return to this bit afterwards. This is very annoying. Gotta wait for everything to sort of line up. Ugh. You can just do it if you're a bit patient, but I'm very impatient at this bit. That, that should have been a hit. Anyway. Right. Anyway, got that. Oh yeah, chest. Wow, a level 1 key sphere, really. How amazing. Thank you so much. Absolute garbage. Okay, so then we've got another bit of swimming to do on the other side. But at least we can kill these things. Kill this. Not bothered about the overkill for those. Okay. So that's that. Again, not really enough to be focusing on... Um, over killing these things. What do you get from these? Water gems, nothing amazing. Might as well try and steal from these. Okay, at least heal up. And cure that poison on Waka. Nice. I'm just going to carry on capturing these. Be nice and easy. I'm not even going to bother with Riku to be perfectly honest. Don't need the uh, water gems. Easy ones. Not that we need the power spheres or anything, but there's that. So here we've got the flans. Star curtain, that's always good just for being able to use reflect. I'm a break with these things. And they do half everything, which is very annoying. Wonder how much they take from flare. Virtually nothing as well. Which is why you have to armor break them. They're very annoying.
Ah, I wonder if Kamari can learn White Wind from this then. Yes, he can. Good. And then Orange should be able to finish it off because it's been armor broken already. Alright. Okay. So that's all those taken out as well. Can't get up there just yet. Right, so we've already uh, got as many of those as we need. Might as well overkill it for the AP. Should have brought in Riku really, but never mind. Just save for the little bit of progress we've got capturing there as well. Alright. Depending on how the hits go, we should get a decent amount from this. That one will die from one hit from Orin. Alright, it'll just die entirely. Riku in for Victor. And just get Tidus back in to build his overdrive back up. Oh damn, he didn't overkill. Oh well, never mind. At least we got his Slayer back. Got AP. I believe we go down this time. Uh, which way do we need to go? Alright, so it's going to cast Dundara. Reasonable amount of damage, but nothing major. How many stakes you think we can get out of these? Booyah! Hmm? Booyah! Alright, so another Behemoth captured, which is cool. Do we even need MP Stroll with Tidus? Not really, we're not really using Sloga that much any longer, but it is useful so. Right, so we've got to open this bit first. Another need hog, always fun. Right, so now we just have to figure out how to open that other section now. <clears throat> always good to have the flan. I'm going to break that. Thank you. 
Is that edible? Seriously doubt it. Right, I'm just gonna again kill this thing with Slayer. Except I've just realised I didn't have my capture weapon. What a dozy person. Wonder how many people were screaming that at the stream. Uh, Alright. I've got to get this way back. Ah, oh, well, at least I've got those back now. Dagnamit. Damn, hope I didn't miss too many captures with that thing. Don't think I did. We'll see. So, get a load of these kills anyway. That's them all sorted. This is where you get one of the uh, fortune spheres. So, important that you do this bit. Uh, And there's the rare steel. That's a guaranteed armor break, which is why those things are really good. Alright. Easy captures for those again. Need to get some more of the male spikes to be honest, uh, but yeah, let's have a look. So Riku's green, because that's her colour. I believe anyway, <laughs> that's the way it goes. Yeah, and that, I think, is the Fortune Sphere. Reactive Strike, good, good. Capture a couple of Aculus. And a mail spike. And there's Victor. Fantastic. That was why we've been uh, trying to keep her in the uh, line there. In the front line. It's a tremendously useful overdrive for Riku. I'm just going to switch her to that before I forget. Because she doesn't kill a lot of enemies like the others do. Uh, at least she won't do until I get to doing the capturing. That's really great. Can 
Can these things be slowed? I kind of think they can. Yep. And this should easily finish the capturing for the slashes. Uh, splashes, sorry. Another frag grenade, those will be useful later. Alright, so that's all the splasher capturing done, those are nice and easy. Do need to get the mail spikes, capture more of those. We'll see how that goes. Looks like the mail strikes, mail spikes are going to be the ones that we uh, need to finish off the capturing for. I'll go back to that other place. And finish those off. In all likelihood. Okay. Wow, that really doesn't do a lot. Farewell. Oh, damn it! Oren doesn't have one either. Oh, I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. And that's because I left a break between this episode and the last. Never mind. Oh, never mind. I'll have to catch a few more flans than before, but no problem. Pretty stupid. Oh well, never mind. Ugh. Nobody's perfect. Now, which way am I going here? That's the underwater bit. That's going up to the top of the cave. So I'm just going to try and uh, get a bit more of the capturing done while we're down here. to sleep which is kind of annoying Particularly annoying because the flans are like rarer enemies, but never mind. I captured that one at least. Sorcery bracer. I wonder if that's an MP straw one. No, it's not. What's that going to be? Uh huh. Put MP Stroll on that one for Tidus. May do if I find myself running out at any point. A 
couple of remedies. Nine nine seven nine, just off. <laughs> I think I'll come back to just finish off my capturing a little later. Uh, obviously, I have to do this section, which is where I believe I couldn't get down before. So, just get the things that are over here. Hopefully, capture some more male spikes as well. Or is this where I just went? Oh yeah, no, this is the bit I need to go. Yeah, get a couple of chests here. Turns for in a recovery ring, very nice. Let's see what encounters we get here. That's good, double male strikes. things. Let's cut another couple of uh, male strikes, male spikes there as well. Just gonna head back down to the uh, save point and uh, get the last thing we were missing. Sleep Buster is really good for that uh, when capturing as well, just to make sure if you still want to get everybody else turns, very very useful. Farewell. And down goes Behemoth. No time to waste. Let's go. Do get a ton of uh, AP for those as well. damage from that. It's a bit extreme. So be it. And then Waka can finish it off. So yeah, you get into a quite easy routine with uh, a lot of the enemies, set ways of capturing them, armor break obviously really useful for those things. I'm just going to grab whatever this is, I forget what it is, I think it's something pretty decent but I can't remember. Take out those easy enough. Do do do. A little bit of bonus. XP, there we go. Pep talk. Oh well, maybe not. Just another weapon. I'll come back here and finish off the capturing at a later date. Be a few things I'm still missing.
pretty much almost got enough Mega Phoenixes to um, customize Auto Phoenix, so I'll be able to put that on Riku's armor as well, which is great. When we get that sort of final armor for her, uh, I think that was everything we needed to do here. Get you in a return. Never mind. Capture the behemoth again. That's the main thing. Alright, just before I forget, I'm going to equip the confused ward armors that I've got. For anyone who has one. SOS Reflect is quite interesting actually, you can make use of that, so, uh, right, same again, we're just going to make sure that everybody's in who needs to be in, uh, go with these three first. Okay, don't think Tidus got a turn then actually. Oh, Orin. Never mind. SOS Protect Armor, which is kind of cool. Now, the reason I steal these uh, mana tablets is because you can use them to make the uh, MP. Uh, let me just have a one sec. You can use them to make MP stroll if you did want MP stroll, which is really useful. Most of the um, behemoths that I needed do need some Mandragoras and uh, Dark Flans, but you can get those at Zanakind anyway. Uh, let's have a look. And here we should have the Sanctuary Keeper. Yeah, yeah. Lady Yuna. In Zanarkin, she. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As much as Mike. I see. Yeah. Your... That's a no, then. Nothing. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Another flan. Good, good. are immune to more or less everything. Oh no, I got Silence Buster, that's good. Yeah, that is good. So be it. Farewell. 
All right, nice capture of the Dark Flan. I'm actually not going to change my um, weapons for this boss because I totally forgot last time to change them back and I don't want to waste time capturing again. So that's another Mandragora down, which is good because they're one of the rarish enemies in this area as well. It's going to save again, actually. So that I can have those three ready. It's just so I can get the haste action going and everything else. Probably just attack rails this thing, to be honest. It comes. It comes. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see a single Grendel then. Which is kind of annoying. It's alright, I'll have to come back for them anyway. Grendel and Aramans. cast reflect on this thing because it has a nasty habit of casting cure on itself although I just realized I don't have any of my uh, confused proof uh, confused ward characters in at the minute which could be a problem oh well wakes up Orin at least and he's had his turn We can get Kimari out. Uh, get Yuna in. How much health does this have? Only, only 40k. Not actually that much at all. Oh, it's Curse that he's afflicted with. Oh, never mind. It's not a problem. Oh, I should get Lou a turn, really. Okay. Cures curse. Ah, don't need it for this to be perfectly honest. Let's see what this does. Ah, so that was doing quite a lot. But still not the end of the world. Because her magic is so high, her cure does absolutely tons anyway, so... Alright, let's see what we can do for this thing. We can definitely use Dark Attack on it. Although it might need Dark Buster to actually uh, afflict it. I think it's immune to delay, if I'm honest. Should have used this haste on Waka, but never mind. useful. And the reason I've done that is so that I can uh, double cast Flare off Waka. Uh, 
think. Yeah, there you go. A reasonable amount of damage, nothing amazing. Let's get Dark Buster on it. Don't think you can armor break it, but it's not like I need the MP, so I might as well try. Oh, you can! Wow, that's ridiculous. Interesting. Anything else I need to be doing? No, not really. Be all right here. Yuna might get knocked out, but I could always revive her if, ne revive her if needed. And as long as Waka doesn't get confused, I'll just end it with attack reels. Yeah, good. Another easy fight. Probably could have killed it outright with this. 40,000 health, so it need to do just under 4,000 a hit. <laughs> oh my days. I think it died. Wow. So yeah, more cutscenes, and then we're at Zanakut. Always cool. Turn spheres, glorious bracer, blah blah blah. Let's go. We are almost there, aren't we? Yep. <laughs> What's so funny? You remind me of myself. Got Unisphere, haven't we? Before, when we arrive, he will fight. I thought my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Legendary <laughs> guard. Legendary guardian. I was just a boy. A boy about yep, your yep, age. Yep. I wanted to change the world too. But I changed nothing. That is my story. Yeah, man. No good. Heal everybody up just in case. Fear grids might as well. Although with Yuna boosting her stats at the minute, she is for the end game. Harry has a little bit as well. He regen for any. Then I mean, Kimari's pretty much done there. After he gets where he is, I think. Copycat. Need copycat just yet, and I can always return sphere there afterwards. So I think I'll just go this way. Mm 
I'm gonna go this way with Oren. We can either go to Tejas' grid for the agility or Waka's for the accuracy. So we're gonna go for the accuracy. And sleep Buster for him, which is also useful. Not bothered about loot. Where are you, T? This is here. This is why we wanted to get all those level th uh, 3 key spheres. So that we could uh, move on. I believe that that is Entrust. He can T disc and orange grid. And Waka can continue getting a bit of strength and going through Orans as well. And then you know, like I say, just gonna sit tight for now. So she'll build up a ton of S levels. So how are everybody's stats looking? 69, 77, 46, 82. So pretty darn strong. In 25 and a half hours. So we're almost done with most of the main quests. Got a little bit of cutscene edge again. Let's as we get to the ruins of Zonikand. Pretty cool. A city I had to see with my own eyes. The of Yuna's journey. Thunder in my story. Mm hmm. My then slipping through my fingers. I could. Birds. No. There you. Riku, you're a true friend, and I thank you, but I must go down to Sanarkand. I'm not saying we shouldn't go, but shouldn't we think about it some more? There's got to be some kind of way we can save you, Yuna! All my life, I knew this moment would come. Thank you, Riku. Thank you for everything. Mm -hmm. Don't say that, Yuni. It's not over yet. Tell Sid. Thank you. We do wish that we could skip this, but never mind. Don't say We're gonna see each other again, okay? Jamari! Are we really? Uh, I don't think we are. <clears throat> Come on. Come on. Right. You know, I, told, I was saying come on then. I totally forgot what I was supposed to be doing.
Sir Oren, Kimari told me when my father wanted me taken to Besaid, it was you, Kimari, right? Always wanted to meet you someday. I am truly glad that I had that. Having you so yeah, we just got to watch through this again. Again, <clears throat> I don't have a lot to add here. Um, there are a lot of Zanakand fiends are some of the rarer ones from Mount Gargazette. So I'll be looking uh, to finish off some of that, which is cool. Do you remember the first day we met? Hmm. I was only seven. My father had defeated Sin, and all Pavel was mm. celebrating. Everyone was uh, saying yeah. what a hero my father was. I was so happy. But when night came, it occurred to me. My father had defeated Sin, and now he was dead. Now Which I was sucks. All alone. I couldn't sleep. So I wandered into the t away from the celebrating crowds. I started standing there alone. The field had fought sin. Then you appeared. You were mm. looking scar. Remember? Scared. Until I realized what a gentle person you are. <laughs> you weren't used to talking to children. You that I was Braska's daughter. You said you would take me as far from Pavel as you could. It was the wish of a man facing death. I think yep. I cried then. Because yeah, Kimari making her cry. Anyway, so yeah, we've got to capture some of the fiends like the Mandragora and the Dark Flans and things like that. Again. And then we're good to go. Without saying a word. Not going to be doing a sin right away. I'm going to leave it until I've done capturing for the other areas and I've got a few things in place. Not because I couldn't do it, because obviously I'm extremely strong, but um, just because it's quicker. Just quicker when you um, are able to kill things easily in sin. Just makes more sense. <clears throat> I think there is something that we... Are supposed to do. I'll never forget my days spent with you, growing up in Besaid. We always mm. played together, us and Chapu. That's why I was always so happy. I think. And when you refused to let me become a summoner, and I did it anyway, I'm sorry. I've always wanted to apologize. You know. All right. When you tried to stop me, then. Really, I was happy. I could tell you really cared about me. You were like my big brother and sister. No, I think you really were my big brother and sister. Hmm. What else? <laughs> I love watching you play Blitzball, Waka. <laughs> I even love it when you scold me, Lulu. <laughs> really? Do you really? Don't believe you. I guess that leaves the newest guardian. Star player of the Xanarkand Aves. Mm -hmm. I am. Well, um, I'm glad. I'm glad that we met. We haven't even known each other that long, but... Oh, honestly. It's funny. So... So this is what it feels like. It's a much anyway, more wonderful thing. Anyway, let me just try and collect my thoughts while we have this last little bit. So we've got to do Mount Gargazette, capture in, finish that, finish Carmine's capture in, um, and those areas we've got. But we also want to make sure... That we get the airship, do the high bridge scene, and then we'll have to do chocobo capturing, uh, chocobo racing. Oi, that's no good. And blitzball, woo! I do kind of love blitzball, although it's a bit of a monster grind. I'll be doing blitzball. I think what I'll do for blitzball is just do it as like a separate optional type of episode, so it's all just one stream, start to finish, three or four hours, and that will mean that if you don't want to watch the blitzball, you can just skip it. 
Same for the capturing, I'll try and do each area one at a time. So they're all separate separate um, areas. Like Besaid and Killiker I'll do as one because they take virtually no time at all. So yeah. Oh. Nothing there, no? That bit's quite sweet. Yeah, we're going to get the air airship, do the hybrid scene. Uh, and then we've got the mix of Celestials and Blitzball. First things first, you want to do capturing for the Thunder Planes. Get a, uh, 10 of everything, might as well. Um, and the reason you want to do that is because it'll let you get 99 Chocobo Wings and put auto haste on Riku's armor and then she can do the majority of the killing for the rest of um, everything else because she has high agility, auto haste. You'd be putting ribbon on her armor because it's the one that you want to have ribbon on. We've got more cutscenes, we've got more cutscenes haven't we? Oh never mind. Uh, so yeah we'd want ribbon, auto haste, auto phoenix, auto protect as the best armor to have for the end game characters and then to save on time and getting ribbons and stuff like that we'll just probably have stone proof um, on the other two main characters armor or the other four main characters armor if we do Oren and Yuna as well we'll just ignore Kimari and Lulu because their overdrive suck Kimari is not bad but like his overdrive is not worth using Whereas Yuna has the Aeons, Riku has Mix, Didas has Swordplay, and Waka has Reels, and Attack Reels is pretty much the best attack in the game. And Mix is probably the best overdrive otherwise, or including that even. Just for its versatility and the amazing things you can do in one turn with Mix. Um, and Orin's are okay and his Celestial's easy to get, so... I suppose Orin and Kimari are pretty much interchangeable, but Orin's is good because... <coughs> of the mechanic of his Massamoon Celestial Weapon and how it powers up when he's eight, so you can do some big damage with that before the other ch um, but yeah you want to prioritise Waka if you're doing Blitzball if you're not doing Blitzball then probably Oren, Riku, Yuna and Tidus but it's better if you have Waka and Tidus's overdrives so Get the airship, do the hybrid scene, get a four slot armor for Riku. Capturing the Thunder Planes, put auto haste on Riku's armor. Get anima. Do all the cap. Oh, we get anima first, I suppose, actually. Listen to my story. Listen to my story. This uh -huh. may be our last chance. There was more, right? I mean, like that mm. time. Uh, anyone? <laughs> I think. Yes? I think that we should stop. Maybe right, so, got now. Zanakin now. Right, so. Let's just see. I think we have a save point here, to be honest. Let's go, let's go die, yeah, what? No, dumbasses. Why are you picking up Brotherhood since I've been using the capturing weapons for pretty much the whole thing, but yeah, whatever. Hey, got a flan. That's a good start. Huh. 
White Wind, and then Quaker can finish it off. Might be wanting to um, get attack reels for Spectral Keeper because it's annoying otherwise. Or Unaleska just to make that go quicker. Now, is this a Lux Sphere or a Fortune Sphere or something else? Fortune Sphere, okay. So we get the Lux Sphere somewhere else and then a little bit later down the line and use that with Tidus. Might as well steal from this while we can. Get that thing to miss its turn, which is cool. See ya! See ya! So, capture another beam off as well, which is good stuff. Well, oh, who do I miss the turn with then? Never mind. Riku, maybe? Yeah, Riku, I think. Making our way towards Zanakind, which is pretty cool. Wow. Looks like close enough. Mm hmm How do they hold like a corporeal form when they're you know, dead people? Makes no sense. Anyway. Ambushed. That sucks. Yeah, yeah. That's just rude. Just gonna leave Riku a little bit because it doesn't matter as much. Because she gets her um, Celestial pretty early. And uh, when she gets her Celestial, she, that has double AP. And I actually use that a lot in the Omega runes, so... You know, that'll be uh, her getting an absolute metric ton of AP. And she tends to get very far ahead of the others. Because uh, Tidus and Waka will still be using their capture weapons. Ah, finally, a Grendel and Iron Man's. Good grief. Kill this thing. What have we got? So that thing's weak to fire. Don't want to kill him is the problem. Iron Man down. Should have stolen from that. Never mind. Farewell. At least we got a Grendel there. Let's go. Didn't have any of those previously. Spiritual Targe, that's MP Stroll for Riku, that's kind of cool. Ah, another Iron Man, that, that's good. Let's see if I can hit this with Tidus. Cool. You got Musks, they're good for Confused Proof, which is uh, always a bonus. Let's see if we can put this to sleep, which we can. Should give Orin a chance to hit it. Farewell. Farewell. Alrighty. Uh, all I really need to make sure is that I get the Lux Sphere as I carry on with this. I'll have to remember to come back here actually because obviously Arimans can be captured here. Which is good. Still can't hit it, even with that extra bit of luck. Just going to steal first. I do want the musk. Hit the Bashura. Let's see what the rare steal is from this. I'm just curious if I can steal. Nope. Figure it out later.
That should be an overkill on this. Down they go. Ah, oh, very good. I love how she got Slayer before she got Warrior because she just kills everything. Now... I th thought that round here somewhere was where you get the Lux Sphere, but I can't remember. Let's have a look. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Why does Orin not tell them what the hell's going on? Makes no sense. Got a Lux Sphere somewhere? I'm sure there's a Lux Sphere somewhere. Or is it... Maybe it's further along this way. You got defenders around here which are really annoying. But if I remember they just give you a ton of AP as well. Mm hmm Yeah, yeah. Our uh predis. She said Lady Yokan, didn't she? Wait, she guarded High Summoner Yokan? This uh -huh. dome is filled with fireflies. It's like one gigantic sphere. People still really? remain here forever. Scary. So yeah, a bunch of good stuff to pick up here, so we've got to make sure that we take all of the paths as they become available. Oh, these things are annoying. Steal purifying salts from them, if you're that bothered. Uh, which you might as well. In case you want to try and make a no encounter armor. I did a video about how you can um, steal from these things and get a ton of turns so that Kimari can take less fights to uh, get those purifying salts. Um, but yeah. You don't have to. You can learn Comrade from here so I'll be returning some point as well for that. Couple more turns in there. Not bad at all. Got a few purifying salts there. I don't think I'm going to get a no encounter armor here because it's not going to be too long before I beat Jerskano. And I'll make sure I get a no encounter from that. <laughs> Alright, so. Can't slow these things either, which is annoying. But I'll get one or two more here as well. Weird little attacks. <clears throat> Who got comrade then? Was that Orin? That's cool. Kill this thing. So we're getting quite lucky with the uh, purifying salts there. Candle of Life, always good for getting Doom as well. Uh, I'll just kill this. Could have gone Yuna there as well, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, 
All right, so we're going this way. This is one of the chests we want to get. Like I say, one of these is a Lux Spear. I'm not sure which one, but there is one about somewhere. Might have to double back for it otherwise. Couple of holy waters, always good. And Oren can mash this thing. Again, this is another good place to grind, not just for the purifying salts, but for the actual tons of AP if you want it, but I'll be getting a absolutely mega amount later in the game, and when I say later in the game I mean very very soon as part of doing the capturing and things like that, because if you do things in the optimised order that sort of stuff is never a problem. So this is the Defender, I think you can armour break, and indeed you pretty much have to because otherwise it's going to take a ton to do any... Uh, damage to it. Although Yuna can do a bunch as well, obviously. This thing's all about tactics, really. I'm going to make sure you take it out. And with armor break, they really don't take that long. But they can still hit that through darkness, which is obviously a bit of a pain. It does. Fair. Enough! Ah, oh, I always get those wrong. <laughs> so you can't capture that, but... No time to waste. Let's go. Get a decent... No time to waste. I'm with you. Some level 2 key spheres. think you can get level 3 key spheres from them if you're fortunate. Kill these things again. Used Wartega for a while, let's use that. Oh, I didn't overkill it. Well, wow. I've got higher special defense than I realized. Or magic defense, rather. So, Kimari. Try another couple of steals again. So yeah, it wouldn't take you too long to get the purifying salts, particularly not if you do it the way that I did it in my video, where you um, put them to sleep and get a load of steel turns that way, which can be quite useful. It's coming up on 26 hours. Alright. Preemptive strike here. I'm going to break this thing. of rounds of 999. And I'll just flare this because actually I'm right by the save point. I'll go down a little quicker that way. And down it goes. Overkill, ton of AP, only Riku missing out there and again she'll catch up later. While we're here, oh dear, it's a problem. Actually, can't be bothered with these.
Doesn't really matter which element I get, it'll overkill him anyway. I should do. Yes, just about. Huh, how did Wacker's thing get fully filled again then? That's weird. He's on Slayer. Oh, that's really weird. Uh, oh. Oh. Yeah, it was. Freaky. Really can't account for how Walker's overdrive filled up then. That's weird. It's more like it. It doesn't. It ends after a couple of teal, steel turns. Right, so they'll get a turn each and then uh, get a couple of steels in. Just kill it. Actually, no, yeah, you know, can still kill it. Easy overkill. Friend sphere. Where's the luck sphere? I know there's a luck sphere here somewhere. And I know that it's one that's a real pain in the neck and I always miss. I'll have to go looking for that. the chest. I think that'll be the luck sphere. Let's have a look. Oh, I need to get Kimari in earlier. Make sure they only get one turn each, can't be bothered with these things. Hopefully get two steals. Yes, excellent. Alright. Mix it up a bit, Thundaga. So Yuna has like a ton of MP as well, which is really good. How many, uh... Purifying salt do we have then? Uh, 19, so we've almost got enough for an encounter non-armor to be honest. So I will actually um, be trying to do that. I think. There's level 3 key sphere. Where the heck is this look sphere? Seriously. Go back and find it. Let us go back. I don't want to see you die. You knew this was to happen, my friend. Yes, but I. Yeah, you did. I cannot accept it. <laughs> Oren, 
I am honored that you care for me so. But I have come to kill grief itself. I will defeat sin and lift the veil of sorrow covering Spira. Please understand, Oren. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Alright, I'll just um, sort these things out first. Ow. Slightly painful. Normally I don't farm for the uh, purifying salt, but since I'm so far close to it anyway, uh, I actually might do. I wonder. Okay. We'll just let Kimari get some turns in. Oh damn, yeah, she doesn't have the uh, pendulum armor. Until this dude wakes up. Still one more purifying salt, probably. And then just take him out. So yeah, you can put those things to sleep and then uh, that's a pretty good way of stealing from them quite regularly. So that's what, 23? Yeah. If I come across any others, then I'll be sure to uh, do that. Ah, uh, here's the Lux Sphere, I think. Alright, so straight away, just going to use that with Tidus. Excellent. Nothing there. How strange. Little uh, bit on the map that you could, you know, see. Are the right. I think I it'll probably be worth just nipping back and getting a few more of those. Um, what's the word? Uh, purifying salt. That's the one. What's the word, Andy? Uh, let's have a look. That's only 10 minutes or so, so... I think what we'll do is I'll just go back and uh, get the purif get 30 purifying salt just so I can make a new encounter armor because that'll be useful. Um, won't take very long. Should only be a couple of fights. Unless we get one of these things. Can kill this soon enough. This ends now. Probably does. Might as well get you know some uh, AP while we're here. Damn. Never mind. So 
we're going to start off with Tidus and Kimari just so that next time we come up against the uh, fallen monks where there's a few of them I'll be able to haste them uh, haste Kimari with the first attack just going to kill these the rest of the time Hopefully it won't be too long until I get a couple of these monks. And we've got Mega Phoenixes as well, which is always useful. Let's try and find one of these fights where you can fight three of them at once because I can put them all to sleep then. And these take too long to fight. I'm in no need of AP or strength or anything like that now. I just want to find a fight against three of these monks, steal seven purifying salts, and then go. Not that those things are difficult, it's just they take a while to beat, so relative to other enemies. Come on, I just want to fight three monks. It shouldn't take this long. It's weird because it's normally quite a common encounter. Okay. Just to make sure Kimari gets all the turns. I only need one more now. It'll have a very low chance of getting it, but should be alright. Okay, I think that's that. Right, now assuming that is 30 purifying salts and I can actually count, which I wouldn't bet on, given that I'm quite tired. We'll have a quick look, shall we? Uh, 30 purifying salts, real, okay. And 21 mega phoenixes, so that's absolutely perfect. So we'll be able to make a no encounter armor, and then on top of that we'll be able to uh, make an armor for uh, Riku when we get the Choc 99 chocobo wings. Um, that will do 
basically everything that we want for the uh, end game. So I'll be able to put auto phoenix on it. I'll be able to put um, auto haste on it. And that'll go a long, 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 long way to uh, sorting out the end of the game, which is brutal. I foresee no difficulty. Neither do I. Enough. Cool. No time to waste. All Let's right. Go. No time to waste. You get some really like mega stuff from around here. Now, actually, considering there's nothing around here to actually capture, I should probably just sort out what I want for this next set of boss fights because I can do that now. So we'll go. I uh, will. Yeah, confuse ward. That'll work. SOS shell, MP plus 20, poison proof. Mm. There's a few good things that we want here. I mean, first of all, we want Berserk Ward. That's definitely what one we want to use here for this next fight. Mm. Oh, Dark Strike, that's interesting. Although I don't think the two bosses that are coming up are actually uh, susceptible to that in any way. Let's try a slow touch. Leap touch. Uh, counter attack, maybe. Mm. Leave Kimari with that. What's Tidus going to be best with? Probably Sonic Steel. Silence Proof might work well for him as well, but we'll see. And then Confuse Ward. And we'll put um, zombie, uh, the zombie on that as well. That'll be kind of useful for Yuna's. Uh, where are we at? Yuna's rings. There we go. We're just going to put Zombie Ward on this. Could I suppose steal Candle of Life, but I don't know how many of them you need for Zombie Proof. If I'm perfectly honest, so. Well, damn. Enough. That's how it's so, done. Coming up on the end of the actual story mode. I got a pretty decent amount of gill now as well. So I'm just going to save it. all that stuff intact and then off we go right so I'm just gonna go straight on to Sanctuary Keeper and Unileska and we'll go from there So I'll take this free AP for Tidus and then just get two more kills on the way to Unileska and then we're good to go. Ow. Do how many candle of life it is for zombie proof. Never customize zombie proof. Very restricted, like limited sort of use. Probably kill both of those actually. Yep. Love double casting those monstrous spells, it's so cool. Ooh, 
Right. Now, do I have time to do these two bosses in this episode, or should we leave it for another day? Let's just see how long we are on here, because for some reason it's not showing me. Mm, how long are we on? About two hours. So I think that's a good sp good place to leave it. Um, I'll just get back to the save point. And then we should be good to go. Be interested to know how much, how many candles of life it takes. Actually, I should look that up. Anyway, we are pretty much there, um, and we're all set up for taking on Unaleska after we have done the Sanctuary Keeper. So, let's see how that's all going to go. Save it first, and then I'll pick that up at the start of the next episode. So, if you're watching on YouTube, and thank you very much for sticking with me the whole way, um, please like, comment, and subscribe, and all of that. And we'll be back shortly with the next episode. Thank you for watching.